He's gonna be reading for a sign of Libra. All that I need to know about your person and situation, where things could be going. So for Libra, from uh, the 11th up till the 18th of July. So let's see what you oh, guys going through. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. First few cards for you to know uh, your energy, and then you move to your person. Right now, many of you guys could be a bit distracted. Uh, you guys could also be a bit revengeful of uh, the person that hurt you or that kind of, you know, uh, made you go through a lot of shit that you feel is unnecessary. Mind you, everything you go through, it is part of your life, regardless if you want it, like it, dislike it. But it has something to teach you. Lessons happen so that you learn something right. So likewise, you, you don't have to get all mad and upset about it. See, shit happens. Get over it okay don't don't have to kill yourself drain yourself you know like anger is 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 basically like slow poison you know you you want to consume it and then you want the other person to suffer that doesn't happen if you if you consume poison you're going to suffer the other person won't okay you may have some bits of validation that harm upset with the other person you know i i wish bad on that uh, that, that other person i mean see if someone has done wrong to you that person will suffer maybe now maybe like uh, after a couple of years but karma you know you you can't decide on karma karma decides on its own self okay and how the person should go what should happen that that's all karma's work you need to just stay focused on your life okay moving on yeah, again, a very much conflicted energy. Uh, many of you guys could be very, very distracted at this current moment. You guys cannot think clear, think clean. Okay, you 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 feel like you have been done wrong um, by this person. Maybe it's a family. It doesn't always have to be romantic. It can be someone who's a family member, a close friend, and you're very triggered by it. You're very consumed by it. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands, which speaks about many of you guys right now need some sort of distraction you need to clear your mind okay involve uh, uh, your, your like yourself in a situation that would help you get over this shit okay with the eight of pentacles right now most of you need to stay focused on your work life okay if your love life is suffering just let it aside for a moment focus on what matters what is in front of you and that is majorly your work life your personal life okay with page of wands many of you guys could uh, come across someone uh, who's interested in talking with you page of wands doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign but could be but this person will uh, genuinely start a conversation with you and you know it's up to you where you are like where you want to take things further from that okay with page of wands many of you guys could also be wanting to speak to another individual just to not wanting to think about this shit that's fine okay in terms of your relationship, what's the overall energy going to be like? Four of uh, four of swords. Nothing is happening. Neither is it going forward. Neither is it going backward. So let's see more. Ace of cups. Why is the ace of cups here? Seven of swords. It's like, you know, you guys both have shit for each other. Okay, even through this, you only get upset or angry on someone who you still have feelings for. This this statement might trigger you, but it's a fact. You you can't get mad on someone who you've gotten over or you who doesn't matter to you. You are only upset because they still mean something to you. That's fine. That's honestly fine. You're still human. It it takes a lot of time to get over someone who you thought was your person, right? You know, seven of swords, I believe you both are holding back. You both are wanting to distract yourself from your honest feelings. You both are not wanting to have feelings for each other. Okay. In terms of how do they think about you? Three of Cups. It's like this person wants to stay friends but doesn't want to make it official or doesn't want to involve too much. Okay. King of Pentacles. I do not know if, if you guys share a, a business together or something to do with work. But if you do, then this person is very clearly ready for that shit. Okay. If you guys are working partners, if you guys have a, you know, like a work in, like in a, a like in a, a company or like a enterprise where you guys have to work uh, you know together then uh, i still believe that this person is open for that okay in terms of their feelings page of cups they have feelings for you okay in terms of how do they feel when they think about you 
eight of wands i mean it's just that this 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 person tries to distract themselves a lot uh, is isn't someone who uh, is very good with expressing their feelings mind you these people exist you know they get very triggered when they have feelings for the other person it's it's mostly someone who's had history being a fuck boy or a fuck girl you know they do not like to be bound to one relationship they feel like it's it's a uh, it's scary for some of them you know to be bound or to give a word to someone because they they haven't had a good history with 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 relationships and maintaining one okay in terms of their heart space tower card why is the tower here the lovers we see a second option with page of swords i would say that this person that you uh, you are thinking about is definitely not ready for us uh, relationship that would move towards commitment marriage they are more like open for a sexual relationship something that is uh, that they don't have to stay bound to they don't have to be responsible to that they don't have to take charge for okay moreover they are up for something that is more sexual more more fun and less uh, responsibility okay in terms of their intentions piece of pentacles right now if you ask me your person wants to stay focused on their work life their finances when it comes to you yes they do want to maintain a cordial relationship with you they want to be on good terms with you in terms of what do they want to offer just like i've told you again i'm i'm going to this person is open for a fling but nothing more than that like uh, if you are not ready for something uh, shady or like something that is considered a fling how would they react to it they do not know how to react to it like so many cards fail come on <laughs> the five of cups they they won't know how to react to it they'll they'll possibly uh, hold back or they'll tell you that they are not ready for something committed or they don't have what it takes to be in a uh, be a part of something that is long term okay right now with three of wands they cannot promise you a commitment a marriage or forever right now this person uh, might just want to give you something sexual something fun something that you uh, that you might not wish to hold on to in terms of what could be blocking the person sun card right now they just want to stay focused on themselves their happiness their freedom the devil card they have had history of bad relationships they do not trust themselves they haven't been true to one person they have had history of cheating in the past with three of pentacles uh, for now they they want to go slow okay they want to participate in the connection but they want to go slow they like they don't want to uh, you know uh, take that uh, jump so uh, forward towards something much more committed with knight of swords uh, they have always been in and out of your life i don't uh, see them uh, being very uh, like consistent in terms of relationship with queen of cups they are not willing to open up uh, their emotional side they don't want wish to be vulnerable in terms of uh, what can you expect from this relationship libra you know uh, with six of pentacles definitely they 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 wish uh, give and take but to a, a point like not much not less they won't give you commitment let me be very honest regardless of what people tell you uh, this person isn't ready to give uh, give you anything long term okay promises for long term moreover if you are expecting a, a commitment or something like marriage then they they might turn you down you know they might disappoint you okay with the eight of cups this person isn't just ready for something emotional okay 
it's not like i would say that they have a third person not all of them uh, who are connected to the libra have a third person yes maybe 20 30 percent of you who's who's uh, uh you know having a, a person in their life could be having a third party but most of you i feel they have it they have gotten rid of the third party it's just that they're not ready to promise anything long term nine of wands tells me that this person isn't ready for it this is like six of pentacles they they, they they will give you something but it's mostly like bread cramming okay so the near outcome <coughs> with queen with queen of wands they are uh, open sexually definitely if you're waiting on on them to reach out uh, they will they shall however uh, they might hold back after that okay with emperor card they, they want to control the situation they want to dominate you okay they want to take charge They look at you as 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 the fool, you know, as someone who wants to, uh, you know, like possibly um, take that leap of faith uh, in in terms of relationships, take that risk. Someone who who doesn't think twice before doing something. Uh, someone who uh, lives life on on their own terms. Okay. The elephant card. They also look at you as someone who is wanting marriage as someone who's wanting something committed um with the full card they also know that you've been waiting on for a, for a while for some of you al almost a year okay how do they view themselves with two of pentacles they look at at, at, at themselves as someone who's not stable someone who's uh, dicey you know what i mean by dicey someone who who who, who cannot really control themselves much they are all over the place, like not like not in a bad way, like emotionally unavailable. Someone who's who is not uh, very much uh, someone who you ca can consider uh, as a healthy partner. Okay, with six of wands, moreover, this person has been an attention seeker. Uh, they definitely get a lot of attention, even though they might not de be deserving of it. Now, don't take it in an offensive way. Uh, I look at your person as as someone who's who's hungry for validation, as someone who likes that uh, validation that. Uh, acceptance from others but once they get it they they, they go to someone else to uh, you know to possibly uh, get it from you know so they go from people to people just to feel validated that's that that's their way that's fine but with six of uh, wands this person is definitely someone who hasn't been the loyal types moreover they are like attention seekers like a fucking tiktoker okay <laughs> they, they they like to be there they, they, they like people giving them that attention okay With Page of Pentacles, this this relationship never got to a very stable point. You know, it has always been stuck at the bare minimum. With Knight of Cups, they 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 know that you both got feelings for each other. However, with Wheel of Fortune, they they want to go with the flow. They do not want to promise you anything, darling. Okay. Now, for those Libras who are dealing with fire sign, judgment, this person isn't ready for opening up love emotionally. With seven pentacles, they'll they'll make you wait. Libras dealing with air sign. Okay, this person definitely has lots of feelings for you. With star card, this 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 looks more positive. Libra with air looks very very positive. Libra with water, this person does not know what they want. Very very uh, indecisive. I mean, death card, lack of changes. So this person, for for many of you, you could be dealing with someone who doesn't like to be controlled. Every time you tell them to behave, they are like, stop controlling me. Okay, but that's just the uh, in insecurity that speaks. You know. Libra dealing with Earth, the Empress. This, this, this is someone who is much more mature, but they are very focused on their own self. With five, uh, with five of Pentacles, right now they might not have the time uh, to be a part of something long term. They are more focused on their growth, their prosperity. Okay, so two cards of advice for Libra. 
right now you, uh, don't be a part of a connection that drains you that brings you down it is not necessary for you to have a relationship in your life whenever you're down whenever you're, you're feeling un uneasy it's okay to just hold back just to live by yourself it's okay to release what is not for you with queen of pentacles yeah just just like that i i i feel many of you guys need to stay focused on your own self if not financially just your health just your well-being just you, you know planning your future financially you, you you guys have always been well you know libra is always someone who's financially well off okay like because they they, they love what they do and uh, when you love what you do you can always expect a, a a good flow of cash right but nine of cups uh, do what makes you happy and with king of cups listen to your inner voice that fucking intuition that you've got okay everyone has intuition you, you just got to follow that shit but king of wands know that you are worthy you are beautiful you are good looking you can be a part of a healthy relationships uh, you don't have to settle for bs with ace of swords whatever you feel uh, you know um, whatever you want to say to someone you want to say it don't hold yourself back don't block yourself because when, when you bottle up those anger those feelings of that anger it eventually messes up your chakras you know chakras are very real you know all the seven chakras that we, we've got you could google it um, any of that gets blocked your life get sabotage trust me okay and with justice card do what's right for you think long term and balance your life as a libra my honest advice is always have balance in your life okay and yeah let's take few love messages i'll like to take my own handwritten notes okay I don't trust you completely. Scared of past cycles. So this person might it's not about trusting you, it's trusting love relationships. Some people do believe that love is not forever. You know, it keeps changing, and that might be a person's problem. So trying to move on, this this could be you. Okay, trying to move on, but you're clearly still bothered as like as to what your person is up to. I feel connected to you regardless of the situation. That's your person again. Okay, that's you. I have strong attachment, but lots of problems will get in the way. That's you. That's clearly you. You still got attachment, but you you are clearly seeing the red flags and that's what's holding you back. Past message. Grateful to have met you and this connection. That's always there. What else, spirit? You don't, you don't know my past. Your person has definitely had a very difficult past, even if they behave nothing like that. Uh, let's go out somewhere romantic. And let's pick one random card. I miss you so much, you have no idea. So that is that. I advise you all uh, to go for personal readings. If not, not through me, to anyone you trust. But don't go for cheap readings, you know. There are a lot of people who are like 20, 21, weird names with, you know, associated with their who are young who, who do not know life just because someone charges low doesn't mean you throw yourself towards such readings because once a reader gives you a reading who does not know to read and they they mess up with your head then you'll just go from from people to people reader to reader to for for validation they can fuck your life up you know readings are very messed up if you don't go to the right person that can really mess you up okay so just because something is cheap doesn't mean you go and explore it you have to trust someone you have to hear this person the person that you go to you have to trust them you have to trust stero before going to a reader you can't just go because you're helpless you need to trust what you you know uh, ask or seek help from you need to respect it many uh, of my clients sometimes are not very respectful towards the term tarot they they, they they look at it as a as something that is a you know like dirty work it's not dirty work it's something that is associated with spirits definitely but it's something that helps you right if something helps you you need to respect it you know sometimes people come to me for readings and they are not ready to give their names that's very stupid like how could i do a reading for someone who is not ready to give their name to who's not re uh, like ready to reveal their identity their personal identity i i cannot connect with the uh, energies if you do not give me the name and the person you're connected to just, just, just because you know someone is cheap out there, and someone is not bothered as to what you give or not give, you know, doesn't mean you 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 go for such readings. Go for readings that you can uh, trust, something that you can get help from, and something that you could hold on to. Okay, and al always have one reader, max to max one or two readers, but 
hold on to one reader because you know that person will, will guide you right if you have two three five readers they'll just confuse you trust me on that okay so yes let's take love messages and once you all always get a personal reading if one trusts tarot or libra for the next seven days if it resonates i request you to hit the like button because that's how you know i grow i survive here i sincerely re uh, request for your support through like through to subscribe all those who really connect with me and trust me as a reader and trust tarot you could reach out directly uh, on etsy or for a reading we almost have 20 percent discount almost not for all orders some orders um and if you use whatsapp you could directly connect via whatsapp and have a reading with me um uh, and that's all from my side i wish you the best think twice before you do something okay do, you do not have to do something just to you know uh, feed your ego that's stupid okay uh, think mature be mature and do what's right and do what's uh, going to help you for the long uh, run okay that's all i hope to see you soon i hope to see you happy cheers